before the first game at Tottenham Cup. Can you sense that the Super League lads in particular have sort of stepped up a bit, stepped up a level over the last few months? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I think you know the key points that we're wanted from them or to learn from the Four Nations last year, and now we had that mid-season test against Samoa. And I think he spoke to us the best players about you know, just practicing different parts of the game, and uh, we've the real quite good practice on them. And, uh, Do you feel any extra responsibility as an NRL player now? People seem to point to the fact that there's seven of you lads in the team and it helps England. Not really, still fitting up field with the team and um, uh, as long as we all do his job, um, it'll help us go a long way. Your mates with uh, John Bateman obviously have come a long way. How good a centre is he when he's played most of his career in the second row? Yeah, I think John feels him well there. You know, He's played there before for England and he's done a great job. Uh, I think he was 2015. Um, he played centre there and you know, he did a great job, so you know, I've got all the confidence he'll do another great job tomorrow night for us and um, I think that's why Wayne's put him there. What confidence in the, in the camp now? Adam? How's the confidence? Oh yeah, a lot of confidence, you know, we've had a good 10 days up in Perth and you know, I've got to see some old faces that we haven't seen for a bit and you know, a bit of banter between each other and you know, we've got a lot of confidence, we've trained well and we're all looking fit and you know, we're having a go. Just on John, had he played centre when he was younger at Bradford or anything? Obviously, always a second row. So it wasn't like he was a centre in juniors, right? Nah, nah, nah. I think it was a when he was younger, he was six or four. You played centre as well, aren't you? So you start that way. Is it just a good position for the round? Yeah, no, there's not much difference really. Um, you know, I've still got to check and release. You've probably got to be, be a bit quicker on your feet than some of us got pros like myself. But. Um, like I said, John will do a great job there and you know, we're all got confidence in him doing that, so um, yeah, I've got some other full confidence. Are you two from a similar area of Bradford? Uh, yeah, he's from a rougher area. That's a nice <laughs> no. I was going to say, which is better, West Bowling or WL? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm from Butcher, so yeah, <laughs> right. nah, he's from over side. Oh, not too far, 10 minutes, so we're pretty close, you know. We've been known each other now probably for like 28 years, so we a good relationship. Good, good friends at um, Bradford and you know we keep in contact a lot while I'm here and you know speak to each other probably once every two weeks or something so yeah, we've got a good um, friendship. You'll find that your Bradford action comes out a bit, a bit more over the next few weeks when we get around you. Yeah definitely, um, I'll be going back to Canberra and people won't understand me again so <laughs> that'll be fun. Are you, who are you rooming with them? Oh we've got our dorm rooms here, you know, I'll be with Tom up in Perth but yeah we've come down here, we've all got our dorm rooms now so my room's a bit tidy you now, I don't have Tom in there. <laughs> with, uh, with Wayne, what's he sort of, uh, what kind of um, things have he, has he imparted on you and the group, do you think, since you know, he's come into the team? Uh, I think he's brought a lot of pride in, you know, make us a lot of pride for the jersey and, you know, to represent his country, you know. Um, he really forces that into us and um, I think he has also brought a lot of belief and confidence in the group that we've got here, you know, by selecting the boys again from the Four Nations last year, you know. I think that was a big part of bringing a bit of confidence and belief into us. So, um, yeah, like I said, he's a great guy and he's very good with his man management skills and you know, he says how he is and you, know, you respect him for that as well. So. I hear he's, a, he's got a sense of humour, like does he have any favourite jokes that he likes to tell or is it a... Yeah, he's got some rubbish jokes, to be honest, we just all <laughs> laugh because he's coach. But, <laughs> nah, he sits at back of bus with him and tells us all jokes, yeah, he's got a good sense of humour really, he's, he's a great guy and like I said, you know, that's why we probably always respect him. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Cheers.